welcome back to the channel me and Simon back out again up in North Wales and today and tomorrow we're going to be in the, the northern Rhinogs doing a hike and wild camp we're going to hike up a couple of lesser known peaks only in the 600 meter mark one's called <coughs> Voil Penolai and the other one is Moil Uskavanagol so we're waiting for Danny and his mate Mark and we are in the Bryn Arms in Gehi Lidden at the moment having a pint probably only, only having a one because that was £4.20 and that was £4.70 for a pint of Guinness but cracking pub I'd say it's the cleanest pub I've ever been in have a look at this This place is spotless. It comes with a resident cockerel. There's a couple of turkeys over there <laughs> Look, as well. There's turkeys and chickens over there. Right noisy gits and all of you. Hear them? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as I said, we're having a pint. Maybe, maybe have another one. Don't know, see how it goes. Wait for Danny and Mark to turn up and then we're going to make our way over to the car park and start the hike. Right, a bit of a change of plan. Danny's been held up a little bit, so uh, we decided to come to the meeting place. He's um, 20 minutes away, so not too bad now. But while we're here waiting, I'll just show you where we're going today. Not a major hike today, really, just as well, I suppose, but we're heading up to those two little peaks there. The one on the right is Foil Penalai, and the one on the left is Moil Escavana God. So yeah. That's where we're heading. Wait for Danny now and we'll make a move. Right, as you can see, Danny and Mark are here. Hello. 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 And we're making our way up. There's the first one there. And then over to the other peak. It's the Northern Rhinogs. The closer you get, the more stunning it looks. It's absolutely fantastic. Eh? It's uh, probably up me and Mark's favourite part of Snowdonia. Oh, it's stunning. It's 
stunning views of the Rannix. Um and the Rinox. Not a massive mountain this one. It's probably class to a hill and the one the second one we're going to is a hill, but um Yeah, it's a nice walk but the camera don't doesn't do it justice but it's quite steep that hill so could be a test. Yeah that's good fun. Lovely part of the world this is. Nifty place, like. Isn't it? Nice. Yeah, look at the tub. It's a fucking big tub, that, like. I knew it was a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had you an idea. You can never be too sure on somewhere like this, so can you, to be honest? Yeah, true. Best to check it out and make sure there's nobody injured and yeah. hurt or worst case dead. I can see my van from here. Yeah, it's picked out like a <laughs> thumb, <doesn't> it? <laughs> What a backdrop for it though. I know. And there's not a soul around for miles. No. Just us and the sheep. Just the way we like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Over that brow now to the summit of Moyo Lusk Van I got. I got a pitch up, leave all our gear there, and then go over to that one there, foil up and all like, and that'll be another nut all back. And then we're gonna chill out then and have something to eat, a few beers, and enjoy the night. Stunning. We're going over there now, for your pen ollie. We're gonna hike to the summit and then drop back down and pitch up down there so we're slightly out of the wind hopefully.
And we are going up there. Time for a bit of rock climbing. Mad, isn't it, Simon? If you can do this, you can do Travan. <laughs> you seen that film Ledge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bit far fetched, like. Me and Callum were watching it the other week, I was like, those man yeah. mountains look like bunkers, isn't it? They look like Papier Mache the way they're made. You see they're made of um, like um polystyrene. Yeah, yeah fiberglass. Right down there, side! Yeah. Just want to give a quick shout out to Chris Homer and uh, Chris inspired us to come to um, the Red Ox after watching this video and yeah so I'm um, so glad we did so check his channel out Chris Homer There we are folks, that's the second summit of the day. Right by that little rock. Foil Canale. Yeah, I mean that's that's not a meter out that mate, eh? that's you know what I'm looking at, it's a good 20 meters. Scrap that <laughs> last cliff. That's not a summit. It's over there somewhere. Time to get back down. I'm 
get over the other summit because we've come at the wrong one. There's a summit, apparently. battery ran out so couldn't do any more filming over there come back over here now we're gonna pitch up four tents in this area slightly up the wind it's not too bad so yeah let's get a tent up Tents are all up. This is my offering for this evening. Six Moon Designs Luna Solo. It's just a single skin tarp tent with a trekking pole. And I'm not liking all that's caving in there. This is Mark's tent, the MSR Access 1. I gotta be fair, I reckon this is my next tent. I'm thinking of selling a scarf one and buying one of them. Awesome tent, that is. So there could be a scarf one for sale soon, folks. Just to give you a heads up. Because I'm getting one of these. Right, there's Danny's tent. He's in his um, nature hike, Cloud Peak 2 tonight. Yeah, fairly decent tent, that. All in all, um, decent camp spot. Mist is rolling in a little bit, but it comes and goes, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get another can now and get some food on the go. Right everyone, it's beer o'clock. As usual, the Herefordshire fire water. I got three of them. I got two triple hazies. And I got two cans of McEwan's Champion. That's a 7.3 percenter. So yeah, I'll be sleeping tonight. 
<laughs> Tonight I'm having the fire pot chili con carne. Got a few pepperami hots and a bag of Asda's habanero chili peanuts. So right, let's get some water boiled. Just put the water in, give it a stir, leave that for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna add some chili flakes. Give it a bit of a kick, kick it up a notch. I do like spicy food, so yeah, put some of that in there. Just add some food. Um, the weather's Believe it or not, it's, it's July, 2nd of July, and uh, it's gone cold, the clag's rolling in. The map we went up earlier, I can't even see it now, because uh, it's that misty. Marks has got a second down jacket on, because he's freezing. Pretty cold here to be fair. We're just admiring the amazing views. <laughs> Hello. 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 It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Bloody hell. I just said that, yeah. Second of, second of July. Give me a wave. The last hour and a half has been cloudy and it's just cleared. Well, momentarily. Got that coming over. As soon as it clears, it's gone again. We're all back in our tents now. Tell you what, for a wild camp, this is probably up there with probably one of the best camps we've ever done. What a what a fantastic day, fantastic night. Me, Simon, Danny, and Mark. First time you met me today. What a cracking bloke. But we've all got on so so well. It's just amazing. Weather starting off was pretty good. <laughs> now the tent's blown all over the place, just fairly windy. Didn't get many views tonight, but it, that's the way it goes. You win some, you lose some. Hopefully we get a decent sunrise. I've set my alarm for half four. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. Hopefully it'll be a good one, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everyone. We've all woken up now, it's about 7 o'clock. Weather hasn't
hasn't changed since last last night really. Um, still claggy. Good night that was. Um, I'm not sure how much film we've done, but we had such a good laugh and a, a good crack. We just haven't filmed as much as normal, so we'll see when the, the video's edited. Yeah, so we're all gonna have a coffee now and start the back down. Yeah, nice camp spot this is. Flat. Another pan around, you see. There's not much of a view. Yeah, so just woken up and I got a bit of. I think it's condensation. I don't. It didn't rain last night, so. It's either dripping, it's forming on the doors, the mesh doors, and it's dripping down. Well, it's only that I can think of, it must be that because it's quite dry though, and this is coming from there. Yeah, but I've had this before, but I've actually had rain coming through. Um, that was before I seam sealed it. Since it's been seam sealed, it's definitely better. But it's coming from this area again. What's this conversation? <laughs> That's on the video. <laughs> Don't know why I think Danny looks a bit worse for wear this morning. I'm alright. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost me, uh, there it is. Found it. That brew now. We love you long time. Drink with the fucking big boys. <coughs> oh, I can't drink that stuff. No, I, I didn't know, you know. To be honest, I think we were all KO'd out of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did feel the earth move a few times with your farts. <laughs> As you can see them probably here, the weather ain't the best. Visibility is low, and have a look at my tent. The condensation on here is unbelievable. Yeah, it's absolutely soaking. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but nuts. Safe to say I won't be using this tent for a while.
I've only brought it because it was lightweight, but I don't know, the jury's still out on this one. Anyway, time to pack up and head out of here. All the boys are packing up now. Back in the van now. Mark's got the cattle on. Want a coffee? Yes, please. <laughs> Cracking night. Night. Crack night with Mark and Danny. Good laugh, wasn't it? Oh, I was. Yeah, we had a yeah, right screen. Fair play. Yeah, the rain hogs. Oh, um, don't end your trip back with the party pants, sir. <laughs> I'll just chuck them out of the van. Yeah, the Reynolds, um it's an awesome place. We haven't seen one single person, so if you want to go on a hike with a, without the crowds, that's a good camping spot. We highly recommend it. So yeah, until the next one, take it easy.